In this really quick tutorial, I'm going to go over a few options for some of the most common issues that come up with scaling images in Adobe Premiere. Um, and when I'm talking about images, I'm actually using still images in this demonstration, but it applies the same way to video clips as it does to images. One thing that comes up commonly is you might have an instance where your entire video has black bars at the top and the bottom. We can see here from the source image it doesn't have that, it's only appearing over here in our preview window. Usually this indicates that the sequence settings do not match your media. If you're having that for all your images, one of the easiest things you can do is just to start a new sequence um, by dragging in that clip and then you can actually copy paste from an old sequence um, so that you don't have to lose your work. So for example, I'm going to close this one, take that um, picture, drag it in to make a new sequence, and that way it fits perfectly and has the right sequence settings. That other sequence still exists if you need to be able to um, copy and paste other material that you had already put together. Um, another issue that comes up a lot is if you're using mixed media, you might be using a variety of footage from different cameras or a mixture of video footage plus still images. And in that case, sometimes the different pictures just aren't going to fit the frame the right way. So here's one I've already started um, with some additional photos that are not fitting. This one's much too small, this one's much too large, um, and this one has has some different dimensions. So um, we can start off one way to adjust if you have one clip that's just not fitting in. You can right click on it and go to scale to frame size and that will make it fit the frame um, exactly perfectly. And you always want to remember to save every time you do this because it is an effect that is being saved. Um, likewise, this one's too big. We can say scale to frame size and it will pop back to the size that it should be. Now you'll notice that there's also an option called um, set to frame size. That is a little bit different. It's usually preferable to use scale to frame size because you have more options for adjusting it later. There's another way to do this, the where you can make the fine-tuned adjustments. Let's say we wanted this one actually even bigger. Um, with this image highlighted, we can go up to effect controls. Um, and use the scale option that's under the motion um, drop down. Right now it's at, um, it says 100%, but we can continue to make it bigger. You might run into issues with quality, so you can't necessarily make every image um, as big as you might like, but uh, we can use this to adjust an image further. You can also use position um, to drag things around or uh, recenter content the way you might like. Um, this one we can see scale. Similarly, we can change that. You know, this is where it started. We could make it much smaller too, but we wouldn't necessarily want to do that unless we're trying to stack multiple images on the same screen. Here's one where the source image for this one is a different shape. It's more square, and so to fill the frame it has to be bigger than we don't see the whole image. That might be something that we actually want to change um, with the effect controls. Maybe we want to see the full image vertically and we don't mind having the black bars on the top and bottom. That's another thing we can adjust here under the scale tab in the effect controls panel in the top left where you can really fine tune your settings to get them at exactly the scale you want.